Hey guys, sorry about the late video, but here's a clip of a cat and a puppy playing together. Yeah, that cat looks almost as surprised as me when I realized it was going to take this long to come up with a deck. Uh, again, guys, very sorry about the late submission, but uh, real life got in the way. So uh, with that, this video is uh, going to be about uh, the Chaos Mode uh, Goth Kids, and I'm going to show you a freeze frame instructional once again, since you guys liked it so much last time. So without further ado, here we go. Okay guys, so the Goth Kids Chaos Challenge, what is it? It's going to be Goth Kids cost one less energy point and have special levels. And what they mean by special levels, guys, is uh, Ferkel's going to be level 5, Michael's going to be level 4, Pete's going to be level 3, and Henrietta is going to be level 2. Hey guys, like I said, this is going to be another freeze frame instructional video. So that just means we're going to have freeze frames like you're seeing right now on screen. And uh, that's just going to help illustrate a point that I'm trying to make or maybe you know, get you to not miss something on screen. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you do, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know by subscribing. Let me know, you know, give me a comment. Something. Give me something, guys. All right, guys. So here we go. All right. So first up, guys, uh, Mysterion. When you get Mysterion in your hand, you want to use it first. It's a very good uh, opening move, like a poke. And it gets them to basically put stuff right where you want them to, right? So he puts that Ferkel in, um, and then we're going to get over to our side of the field. Now he has, um, he basically got the Goths first, right? Now for many reasons, that's going to be a good thing and a bad thing. But for right now, we're just going to say it's a good thing because it's getting all his units, and especially his Henrietta, over on our side of the field. So what we want to do is switch to defensive and just stall out. Okay, guys, so now, you know, immediately the next move, we're going to do that Bradley because, again, we're stalling out. Now, guys, here's a good time to mention that this deck, um, you can kind of expect to definitely lose bars here and there, one or two maybe, but you have to really chill and let, you know, just play to what your opponent is playing. Do not freak out because then that's when you will lose. So the other thing that's going to be pretty important to note, guys, is that this mode, uh, especially with the Goth Kids and Henrietta, it's going to be heavily RNG based. And what that means, it's it's going to be rotation based, right? So if you guys have played this mode already, you're definitely going to know that whoever gets Henrietta and, and Michael first is going to win. So I kind of plan this deck to, uh, you know, compensate for that, to not be so reliant on the RNG aspect of this mode this week. So we did lose a bar, and uh, obviously it's because of that Henrietta value, guys. Um, if you get that Henrietta first, or or your opponent rather, um, you're going to have a bad time. So you want to definitely um, chill and react to what they are playing, right? So here we're just setting up our pieces, we're backing up, we're putting in um, uh, ranged units, you know, we, we got that Mysterion going, thankfully. That's going to give us some value here to kind of make a comeback, right? Um, and um, here, I don't think I should have put that, that Henrietta out just yet, but I had a feeling he didn't have a hard removal, so I did it anyway. And, um, and then here, here goes the Michael. So as you can see, we're already coming back because he himself is going to have a hard time dealing with a properly backed up uh, Henrietta, right? So we're nice and caught up. And he's also trying to pick off my weak units. But here's where the fireball comes into play, guys. So here we get... Uh, an extra hit in there with uh, Pete and we get a little more value for the Mysterion on there um, new kid takes care of the Ferkel so here uh, we've been counting his energy and he's not gonna have the energy to really deal with a push like this so mistake on his part was putting that Henrietta right up front to uh, to tackle my units so now here, you know, we've got a proper push to come in without the Goths, right? 
and all we have to do now is is continue to push because we've won anyway right we're not going to let him get back to our new kid so either way that was a good game and i will play to expert claire guys i hope you learned something with this um as with all my decks you don't have to go with the same one if you don't want to use lava for example uh you don't have to use lava but i can tell you that that, that lava did work uh in situations where you know henrietta was on my side of the field and you know she had a lot of health so that was kind of instrumental in slowing down you know the goths that were coming back so um yeah i mean hopefully hopefully the, the guidelines that you learned here uh are enough to to take you through um this this week but you know give the deck a try you know if you don't if you don't like it you can always take something out you can replace something whatever um you might also be tempted to actually put in the goths into your deck and that's going to be a no-no guys and uh, the reason for that is um you're gonna you're gonna cause um some overlap with your cards and um you're gonna put yourself into unplayable situations where you're gonna remove the value from your from your goths right because you want them all to come out basically uh, at the same time so let's say you, you play a furkle and uh you lose the furkle right well now you don't have that that um that damage increase every time he dies when henrietta's out right so you're just uh yeah you might get a, a faster rotation but it's not gonna be the way you think it's it's gonna be um placed weird i, I don't know how else to say that but yeah it didn't work out too well for me and i did try i tried a whole lot of other things too by the way so guys um if you enjoyed this video um please make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, i hope to see you um, at the live streams as well and guys uh, i will see you next time and for that next time make sure you get good <laughs>